season high, tied for a season high, 21 points in that win over Florida. Kelsey Marshall with the extra bounce and dreams the trifecta. Ball goes inside to Beatrice Montpremier. You see three defenders ensuing, but she keeps the ball moving and you rotate it, make the extra pass, and then Kelsey Marshall. Banks with a nice move. Struggled a little bit, and Miami's been able to get back into this behind the play of Beatrice Montpremier. So I think defense on Kelsey Marshall, <laughs> who is really heating up, uh, is one of the keys. And now this is a tie game. Impressive mindset. That is when Miami's at her best. But it starts with the pass from Banks out of the trap. Marshall not in. Gray not in. Banks not in. Sure, bring some pressure. Taylor Mason now assuming those duties and the fall away baseline jumper for Mason goes. She kisses it off the glass. Well, right now, Katie Meyer has three freshmen in the game, so I'm sure she is hoping that they can withstand. And that is one place you should be able to go to the junior, Mykia Gray. And Boy, Gray, Gray, great defense on Rasa. Has been disruptive against Rasa. Wonderful spin move by Mom Premier and Miami takes the lead. Find the play of Mikea Gray. We saw her hit a couple shots. Now with the assist. From Wake Forest that Jen Hoover they're may gonna, want back. They're going to keep going to the pick and roll <laughs> for Gray because it's working. And City Baba. More pick and roll action for Mikea Gray. Why not? But she's off the mark. and. Instead of Alex Sharp, who's an outstanding rebounder, getting that. Got it to go. Gray trying to answer back on the other end, and she does. You feel like Wake Forest is taking too much time in this possession to try to get up a shot, even though it's been great defense by the Canes. Rasa is right there. The look, and Moore just throws it up. Rasa is right there to collect it. And that ends the ball game. Miami hangs on. 59-56, and they avoid a scare.